Blue Ages. Blue. Beautiful. <laughs> So I'm starting out by taking out this little bun that I had for this half up, half down style I've been wearing for the past couple days. Um, I'm using the same twist out that I did in my first video and I'm just kind of fluffing my hair out and getting it prepped and ready for me to put it in the puff. I'm using my spray bottle to just rub my hair and add some moisture. I don't want it like damp, just a little moistened up so it can smooth down nicely you see i'm adding more water because my hair was actually super dry when i was doing this so i definitely needed that next we're taking my wide tooth comb and just picking and fluffing out my hair just to get it to like the right volume that i want to do this puff i'm also Combing up through my sides just so they can lay down nice and flat. Still going through, making sure all that is nice and easy to comb through so it can easily just lay down. More water, because it must have just been that dry. Next, I'm just going to be taking some oil to moisturize my hair. I always put oil on before I put my gel and stuff down just to give it a nice base to work with. Got to add it in my roots and everything. Still fluffing because you can never fluff too much. Now, I'm just making sure all the product is getting in my hair. I was on the phone with my mom, that's why I'm like talking and laughing. So I'm gonna be taking some Eco Styler Gel and rubbing it in my fingers and just applying it all around the perimeter of my head. Make sure it is in there nice and smooth. Definitely add more if you need to, like I did. I'm taking my brush and just brushing in the gel and making sure my hair is nice and slicked down. Y'all see that shine? Next, I'm gonna be taking my Gorilla Snot and adding that on top of the gel, also around the perimeter of my head. I only use a little bit, but that's like the thing that makes my hair super slick and shiny. I'm gonna do the same thing and brush it all in. looks beautiful and I'm going to be taking a long headband that I actually broke in half I'm going to be tying it on the front of my head and making a nice knot then I'm just pulling from the back of my head and I'm going to be pulling up while tightening in the front I'm just going to go back and forth with this I'm mainly just lifting the back because I want it high but not pushed back too much in the front so I'm just gonna tie a knot in the back and put the strings kind of in the inside so you can hide them 
All right, now I'm just fluffing again as usual. I'm gonna get my comb again and pick it out some more now that it's in the right position that I want it. Just fluffing and checking. This is the fluff and check period. You gotta make sure everything's right. Look at all your angles. Next, I'm going to just be grabbing a little more Gorilla Snot and putting it on my little baby toothbrush so I can lay my edges down real quick. Mm, look at that. One more time, got to fluff and check because it is not a beautiful puff until it is puffed to its max potential. Next, I'm going to be taking my scarf to put my edges to sleep so they can rest and be laid for the rest of the day. I usually tie my scarf pretty tight, um, and I make a nice bow in the front just because I like bows and it looks cute. Yeah. Bye.